Hey guys, what's up? So I'm going to talk about one of the important program which uh, I was personally asked a lot of times in a lot of the interview. Count the number in in uh, array, right? And it's one of the challenging program. So before to start, this is brief about me. I have my Facebook page and YouTube channel, so you can subscribe my channel and like my Facebook page, and you can ask me any doubts on my Facebook page. I will try to resolve your doubt, and uh, you can get the source code from my blog. So let me show you the questions so in interview the question was like this you have an integer array and what they want is they want you to count the number of uh, the I mean number let's say you need to count the how many times the particular number has been repeated and it was really tough so how many times 5 is re repeated how many times 6 is repeated how many times 7 is repeated and how many times 3 is repeated right so since it is index of 0 1 and 2 it's very hard to count like how do you count that how many times 3 is repeated so what process I followed is what I did I uh, ran a for loop and I know that it's array so I can start int i is equal to 0 i less than a dot length and then i plus plus so First, I started running a loop, and then what we can do here is uh, we can write here a string dot value of, and in the string dot value of, we can get the data based on i one by one. And then, so when we say zero, zero means this is a of zero, this is a of one, and this is a of two. Then, once we get a of zero, make it as dot to a string so or just convert to character adding now this a of 0 we are able to convert to the character array and store this data into a variable just place mouse over here now when we are able to split this right now we have a more control now uh, we can make uh, make one hash map here we can make one hash map and the key is going to be character and the value is going to be integer and we can write map is equal to new and then hash map why I'm making a hash map because it's easy for me to count the number of repeated characters based on key value pair right now when I say this is character of array which means earlier the array was like this now the index 0 at index 0 I'm splitting this into a character array now again here I can run one more for loop inside and I can write logic saying that int j is equal to 0 j less than care dot length and then we can do that j plus plus so when we do like this here we can write one logic if let's say we have a map so we know that map dot contents key right if contains key the map has that key what key so the care of care of zero so if map has that like map already has the data and what you do is you do map dot put and map dot put and what is the key so key of this here it's make it j based on j the data should change and then uh, the value what you do is you do map dot get if it is already present right so if it is already present you need to increase the number so you do get and uh, map get and then you can write like this care of j right because if the data is already present we need to increase the data and you can write plus one right else if not present like if in the map uh, your key is not present then we can just write map dot put and here we have to write one so what I did here is earlier my uh, map was like this right I made a hash map just to a storing purpose I am running a loop on this right so when I say a of 0 which means this then again a of 0 I am making sure that I need to split this if I will split this then only I can count so I split that I am running one more for loop 
after splitting the data and then I'm making sure that if map has that key right so get the key and add plus one so let me put a debug point here and I will show you how this works so right click debug as Java applications when I do that if you look at here uh, if you look at here so in beginning your map is empty it has no data and so just click on F6 click inside and click on F6 now go to the character array your character array has now 355 because the 355 whatever we had in the beginning we did a split I mean we converted to the char array now just to F6 so your char array is 3555 now map has no data when map has no data it will go to the else and it now you go to the map so map has 3 is equal to 1 right so still you have 5 5 press F6 again uh, so 5 is not present it will go to the else and it will put 5 is equal to 1 can you see that yeah 5 is equal to 1 again it will go now it will go to the if conditions because already 3 was present if you look at here your map it was uh, 3 5 5 right so it will go inside and now look at the map so you have already 3 5 2 times right based on the first one now it went to the first again first for loop again here uh, it's going to be you know character array of length second so here char array is now 655 5 because the second second index we are split I mean we are getting a char array and then again we'll run a loop so 6 was not present it will go inside so your map becomes 6 1 again uh, 5 so 5 is already present so it will go to this if conditions and uh, so what is the 5 recent value 5 2 it becomes 5 is equal to 3 because I will replace the key and then I will do map dot get so when we do map dot get it will give you the value so what is the value current value of 5 it is 2 so it will do 2 plus 3 it becomes 3 right similarly it will go again and now if you look at your map your map 5 is equal to 4 so now the last index again this for outer for loop it will take the last index of the data and it will do a character array if you look at the character array now it's 6 so it still has not been converted yeah now it went to the outer for loop now we look at your char array it becomes 677 the last one and your map has this data uh, your map has all previous data now again if contains key so 6 is already present it will go in the else uh, if condition it will get the data which is 1 already and it will add 1 plus 1 it becomes 2 right so if you look at here now 6 becomes 2 again for 7 it will go to the else conditions it will add 1 and for the 7 at this time it will go to the if conditions and it will fetch that and your data becomes 7 so if you look at here uh, 5 4 times 6 2 times 7 2 times and this code is working now let me write one print statement so after the for loop I can just write one I can print the print statement and I can write that map right so let me run this code when I run this code I can see that you know your 3 is one time 4 5 is equal to 4 times 6 is equal to 2 times and 7 is equal to 2 times this is your number present in your in array right so this is one of the important programs which people will ask you a lot of times so focus on this try to write this program try to understand this program and this is though it's tough but i made it very simple thank you guys thank you for watching this